Okay guys, I don't know how long this is going to record because my video keeps cutting off. Apparently I am not meant to do these videos <laughs> as much as I wanted to today. I'm going to talk about some physical things. Um, and I am going to mention the names of many things and what they truly are. And if we are out of tune as a human, if we are out of alignment, if we have suppressed, they will materialize, manifest in a physical, quote, ailment and that is a human diagnosis for what is us trying to upgrade in light and go crystalline. Pure and simple. That's it. Now, everything is a light upgrade. Um, ascension symptoms, throw the word out. These are not symptoms. We're not victims anymore. And every time you use a word that takes you back into an old mentality, um, you become a victim again. So to change your words... These are not symptoms. These are light upgrades. These are beautiful, magnificent. This is your crystalline structure. Um, gout in the feet and legs, in the joints, gluten. Uh, these are human diagnoses for us being out of alignment and holding on to something that we have yet to purify, cleanse, set right in our reality, let things go. Um, they are no longer those things. Uh, once you come into alignment, you do not have these things. We don't get sick. We haven't for years. There's nothing wrong with us. So we just upgrade. We go to sleep. Um, we might clear a bit of mucus as it carries something out of our body. Their pathogens have to be carried out. Everything is activating inside your body. There's no more downloads. It might feel like it. That's just your own energy from the inside opening up. The expansion of consciousness. Um, the expansion of consciousness. You'll heat up and some will freeze. Um, the nuclear part of this phase, uh, we went into freezing temperatures, so you have both going on now. I was in a session earlier and I asked her, Do you, are you heating up or freezing or both? And she's like, I feel both now. But until you point it out to another, they don't know that's what's going on. So be very aware of every frequency that you hear. Match it up and correlate it to something in your body. Everything, something that happens in your world, correlate it to something going on inside of you and start to understand that's what's going on inside of you. That's your program out there in response to you. Um, when you feel off, you're realigning. Uh, old reality, new realities, and things need to synchronize up. If you're not at utter and complete peace, you're out of alignment and, and something's off. Um, and if it's off, pull away. Go inside. Um, go to sleep. Spend the day by yourself or just observe and let it synchronize up. You can do it many ways. You don't have to pull away anymore. You can walk around and interact and do all of these things um, if you're able to do that. This is a re-empowerment, a rebuilding phase. And I will write more on all of this very soon. But for now, I just need to mention it so that many know this is what's going on. Um, your body is becoming a living, breathing organism, every cell of you uh, that is uh, connected, that speaks, communicates, um, and this is beyond anything that we once knew. Um, teeth bend and breathe, and then the frequency will change or something, um, and it'll be, they'll be right back to um, what feels like porcelain and hard again. And then a few minutes, they're bending, they're breathing, they're moving about in your mouth. Um, that's a weird part. That's been going on for a few years. It wasn't until the last few months that I started realizing the amount of pain that goes on in the teeth when this is happening. It feels like a drill or a chisel down in all of your teeth. Um, so there are many things that you can do. The hair starts singeing when all this electromagnetic energy runs through your body. Um, I did find something, I'll post it on um, Facebook or on my website or, or somewhere um, in the newsletter that goes out um, for the hair that is absolutely a miracle for bringing life. And it's funny, but it, because it's um, exactly this. And when I saw the word new dimension of hair stuff, you know I had to stop. Um, and then I started reading about it and yep, this is it. As you move into the higher realms, as you embody the higher realms inside, as you walk in multiple dimensions, as you move to Earth 3, Earth 3 is a holding station for all of us as we upgrade um, this part of our journey. Um, and then we move from here. Um, you name it, it's going on. And if 
you think you're going to control this the old human way, if you think you're going to get your way, then this is notice the word thinking. It doesn't work that way. And that means a lot of suffering needs to occur, but it doesn't need to occur. This is the point. Everybody can step into consciousness very easily now. Everybody can upgrade very easily now. It does take choice. It does take dedication. It does take you taking it serious and stretching your mind beyond the old limits that you used to hold. The other thing is look up at the skies. I received this message years ago. Carry the camera with me, so I started doing that as well. Then it was, um, I was asleep about a year and a half ago, two years ago, I don't know. And we were all looking up at the skies pointing and for the proof that everybody needed for what was coming. We've entered those times now. The cool part is the skies, the clouds, the, the whole thing. You can watch all the dimensions and what's going on in them. You can watch the activations. The skies are your activation now. This is a part of it. When you look up, for me, I see the endo and exoskeletal structure. Um, I see the bones. I see the under the skin. I see the aquatic realm. I see everything that's going on inside, and it's an activation for the knowledge that I hold. Right now, I'm putting together chemical compounds and, and everything that I had no understanding of is coming forth in really fast and all of these codes and and I'll be sharing it as well um, right now I have a huge six foot whiteboard coming that I can write equations on because apparently that's my new part of the journey that I'm to decipher everything that I see and translate it into a language that assists whatever is supposed to assist here we all have big roles so step up come from honor come from love let the little old stories and details go. They do not matter anymore. And when you find something enter into your world that is not in alignment, see what you've got to do. Do it, move through it, open up, and keep calling forth magnificence. Call forth the next awesome reality. Allow it to come. Open up so fully. Don't limit yourself anymore. You don't have to. Um, and I'll come back and I'll do some more videos. I have a, a course to get videos out for so I'll be working on that and I love you guys and I will be writing more I haven't been able to I have to honor this time as well I am doing my sessions I am doing um, the courses I'm doing a lot of things I've done everything by myself for years um, I've done all of it and so finally now uh, Melissa is here and we have moved back into the house um, this is a galactic center as well and it is um, a place for me to work, um, for us to work, and to do what we need to do here, and to assist those that are embracing and serious. Um, I don't do we we don't do playing games anymore. That was the old way. So I love you guys immensely, and from so far beyond this place. And we are in a magnificent time. And uh, if you want, I'll do a video. I'm going. To, oh yeah, uh, I'm going to be doing a master's class. Um, with uh, Lauren Gailey on uh, Healing Conversations. I'm hoping she'll rename that soon. Um, at the end of August, and I hope you will join us because I'm really excited. That's six hours. We're going to be doing this one-on-one. -on -one. It's, it's big. Um, I have a replay coming up on John Burgos with Beyond the Ordinary. I have uh, Awakening Heart, a telesummit coming up um, in the upcoming months. I have another one. I don't know. There's a lot of them. And we completed the one with Darius on a new wealth revolution. Um, Mini, uh, Shefali. Uh, there may be a replay coming up on that. I think she'll be ending the current season. Shefali Burns. So all of these people, you guys, they're out there. And uh, you can tell which ones resonate with you. Um, but there's a wealth of information out there that's free. And, and it's for you. And if it doesn't resonate anymore, there are so many. There are so many. Um, just open up. And you know what? It's your time too. You're a way shower. You're a crystal grid keeper. Keep anchoring the light. Keep sleeping. Keep moving. Keep doing. When you do a massive jump, you will have to move around. You have to move through the timelines um, a lot. Um, besides that, moving around is really important because every person that moves to a new location reshapes the hologram. And so the hologram is changing and moving continually. It's beautiful. We are the new earth hologram. So... All right, I know I've wandered off into two different videos here, and I'll do part one, part two, 
and I'll come back. We'll talk more about the light body. Hopefully, Melissa will be joining me. Maybe she could throw some questions in. Multidimensional Mastery Course members, um, I'll be opening up to questions now, and I'll be doing videos based upon your questions just for you and for the rest of the course members. We will be opening this course up to more um, now that I'm kind of getting stabilized here. Um, it was shown now uh, is the time we've created the foundation, which is beautiful. Um, we're all re, um, we're in the rebuild phase, guys. Um, it's already occurring here. It depends on where you are. Um, deconstruct, um, anchor light, um, upgrade the crystal light body, crystalline light body, solar star being body, the, the advanced new human, all of those things. Um, or the reconstruct phase. Uh, if you have gone um, into your galactic roles and you are already stepping into that, you'll be doing things according to how you're here to do them. It doesn't matter. Some are here just to raise the vibration of everybody on earth and make them happy and flitter around. Everybody will go through this the way they're meant to be. And so enjoy your journeys. Keep focusing on you. Take as much time as you need. It is the most important thing that you will do. And don't hurry to work. And don't hurry to do too much. Don't let yourself deplete because when photonic light, this quantum light activates inside your body, it will shut you down. Um, so that the upgrades can occur organically and naturally um, for you on their own. The RNA activations um, have gone huge now. Um, you name it, it's going on. And don't wait, guys, don't wait. Don't wait for a day to occur. Start doing it now. Come join us. We have so, we move through time vibrationally at the speed of light. Literally, quantum beings, quantum existence. Um, this is how we do these realities now. So embrace your journey. Make it a priority. Let go of all that isn't love. Let go of all that isn't light. Embrace your light. Radiate out. Um, and you're going to be amazed at what is going to be coming for you. It's absolutely beautiful and magnificent. Physical body going to go through some major intense things if you've been holding on. Um, if you have been doing this for a while, you already understand this, you have done this. Um, when the body activates in light, uh, you feel like you um, have plugged into an electrical so uh, socket and every cell will move, your whole body will vibrate. It's magnificent to feel and you just lay in it, you don't even want to move and it could last for hours or 30 minutes. First time it occurred for me, I was like, Wow, I was absolutely beyond amazed. Um, these are gamma radiation blasts. And yes, radiation emits from you too. Oh, I want to talk about the birds really quick before this cuts off. Navigational systems are going to be thrown off. I see this for airplanes. It's about to be um, interesting. At, at, they're not going to be able um, to keep up with the, the birds' navigation systems. One of the things that's going on is they're flying into the houses and the windows. Uh, um, all over the place. Besides that, we are dematerializing and rematerializing dimensionally so fast. One minute, it, it appears that the house isn't here and then it is and the bird will fly right into it. And so we've had a lot of experiences with birds. Um, birds represent the galactic realms as well and the ships, um, everything. Um, and the birds are so active and they're talking and telling the stories of the day. It's beautiful. Pay attention to everything. Grasshoppers? That's our quantum jumping sign. That's one of them. Um, I stopped jumping hugely for about six months so that I could move through and work through all of the realities that I needed to physically work in. And then in, I was told, get ready, here we go again. It was time to move. And then we moved back here. And Grasshopper appeared the very first day. And I said, okay, Grasshoppers, come on. And they're back and we're jumping, sleeping, bags under the eyes when you're clearing heavy-duty timelines. Your whole body will swell. You'll feel like you've worked a whole lot, like you've been off doing a lot of things. You won't always remember. Don't worry about it. You're clearing. You don't care. So hopefully I've touched on so much in here. Somebody will get something out of this that will help them. I love you so much. And just appreciate every one of you. The live calls that we've been doing recently, absolutely beautiful to interact. And, and your energy is just so open and beautiful. It is just amazing to experience as well. The books, 
Uh, yes, many of you have written in um, and talked about how much the books are helping you now. So that really touches my heart. And there's two more coming now. The Multidimensional Consciousness one. And I just purchased the next title for the next one. So I've got two to get out. Um, the next one is Galactic Slash God Consciousness. Our evolution as the advanced new earth humans. Yes, it's a long title, but there's a lot to say. And I'll be putting um, all of the uh, technical aspects of what's going on out and in the book as well. So read the first two because each one builds upon the first. Um, the very first one, Awaken into Remembering. Uh, very simple and that was the point. Each one will raise your vibration. Each one will assist. Uh, the second one, um, Navigating Dimensions, is a guidebook for ascension. And it will assist in, in understanding and raise your vibration and bringing you back to your new earth aspect um, that you have forgotten um, and, and how to do the journey uh, with greater ease and remind yourself and remember more and for some that you don't need this that's awesome too welcome and because we're having a blast uh, together I love you and I shall be seeing you very very soon and I'll get the rest of the videos out I'll be doing more I love you Mahalo. now I'm gonna show you the beauty here so let's see if I can do this I guess the mountain, that's the best I can do with that right now. But, okay guys, and for y'all that I am able to connect with in the physical, I don't get to do this a whole lot. Um, it takes a lot for me to stay focused and work um, as much as I do. Um, so, I will connect with those that I'm able to uh, as much as I can. Uh, but for now, I'm having to focus a whole lot, and I may have to do that for the next few months. We'll be doing a lot of stuff on the island possibly as well so for those i've been able to connect to with thus far it's been absolutely beautiful i love you guys and there's a few around that i'm going to go connect with very soon so i love you mahalo have an amazing everything i'll talk to you soon